We, we had a mentor ask us that very question at the beginning of our journey, what is peace? Uh, because there's, there's a compelling vision for peace that we had, yet unless it was rooted in the scriptures, embodied in the life and teachings of Jesus, um, and clearly defined by us, that vision was never going to take root. And so all of our work, we've defined peace as the holistic repair of severed relationships, such that they're stronger and more beautiful than before they were broken. And that completely reframes our vision of the world. For example, uh, when we're taught that uh, we are to fear people who look or think or believe or act differently than we do, we would say, no, peacemakers uh, shouldn't fear those people. Peacemakers actually move towards those people and those relationships. It doesn't compromise our faith. It reflects the very best of it. Peacemaking is not just a good idea. It's not something that we engage in as people of faith because we feel uh, morally compelled to do so. There's actually a pattern in the story of God that we can, we can turn to. And it was really important to us to actually understand peacemaking from a theological perspective, um, to understand peacemaking in the actual practice of God, most notably in Jesus, uh, so that then we could uh, embody uh, peacemaking as a way of life. We first confronted the fact that we often read the text um, through the lens of the heroes, uh, through, the, through the lens of uh, placing ourselves as the protagonists in the story. And I think a major theological shift that had to happen for us before we began to take the work of peacemaking seriously is to go learn from friends who were on the underside of power, on the underside of privilege, on the underside of empire and then begin to do the work to point the finger back at us to say, can we even read the text in the way that Jesus and the writers had in mind if we only see ourselves through the lens of the protagonist or the one in power or the one who's going to win? And I don't think any of us have to look very far to identify multiple divisions that exist, whether it's theological or it's political or it's relational. We are exposed to division and divide every corner we turn. And so to, to mend divides actually means that we are having to be given tools uh, to get creative in love, to be people who actually not only bridge gaps but collapse the distance between us and allow ourselves to see our futures as interdependent and integrated. Peace is a relational endeavor. It, it's, not a, it's not a program, it's not an infrastructure, it's a relationship. And so that w where peace begins, or where the road toward peace begins, is with me acknowledging I need you not just to survive, but to thrive. Uh, from there, we begin to actually see that person as a human being who's created in the image of God, who has dignity and worth because God designed that person. And I'm the beloved by God as well with equal amounts of dignity and worth. Once we've actually seen that in one another, now we can begin the hard work to move toward peace. And everyday peacemakers are not men and women who build bridges to span the expanse, rather we're expanse eliminators. The adventure that we've been saved into is to join God in mending the divides such that they no longer exist. Uh, such that there is no more us and them. There is a new family joining God in making all things new.